Hello my beautiful viewers, how are you guys and girls doing? I hope very good today because of um, high demand, uh, I am making a video about hair. So if there is anything I notice when I go to the gym and the showers everywhere there's hair, people's hair everywhere. <laughs> so people are shedding a lot of hair. Some of us, um, I think the most important reason for uh, us to lose hair it's uh, besides the, like they say, the 100 hairs a day that you need to lose, which shouldn't be a lot. But uh, the main reason is shock, shock change. Change affects the hair a lot because it's stressful to the brain. And where's your hair? Your hair is attached to your scalp and your scalp is, your brain is inside your scalp. So I, I realized when I'm stressed, I start getting, getting dandruff. Not after I uh, started eating the high fat diet, but before, uh, when I was on a high carb diet, I would get stressed and the first thing that happens is my hair starts falling. So I do have two genes, uh, good genes from my dad, he has a lot of hair and not so good genes from my mom. So I am prone to, you know, having good hair or bad hair, it's in my hands. And um, what I've noticed is um, I um, noticed that uh, uh, showers do not help. Why? Because when you do, when, when you put a shower, especially if you live in the United States, the water is not very clean, especially in Los Angeles. So what I notice is people will open the shower first thing in the morning after sleeping for eight hours and being relaxed. And you open the hot shower and put it right here, right here. This is where we, we all, it's a critical place where we lose our hair, men and women. So your hair becomes weaker and weaker with age. If you look at people, younger people, well, actually all of us have a lot more hair in the back than in the front. I think, I think it's because of being exposed to the sun and the wind and the elements, plus a toxicity outside pollution and stuff, plus opening the shower right in the morning and letting it hit your, your scalp right in front. So what I suggest doing is when you open the shower, let it go on your skin. Our skin is much more able to detoxify when, when sweating than our scalp. We don't sweat as much from our scalp. Okay, so that's number one. Avoid putting the shower right here when you wake up in the morning. Number two, when you brush your hair, try brushing your hair upside down as well. Not only uh, forward because we brush hair a lot. Brush uh, from the back, front, and gently take your time. Do it at least once a week because we don't brush our hair enough. That's why those hundred hairs that are supposed to fall every day, they all fall at once and then or, or some extra because we're not you know, stimulating the follicles of our hair. So brush your hair sideways. You know, I try to do it. I forget sometimes, but I do the best I can. I never put the water in my, in my uh, forehead right here. And also when you put shampoo number three, don't put it right here. Put it right in the back, right here, right? And start massaging like this and getting your hair from the back to the front instead of from the front to the back. We, this part is being taxed too much with the sun, the elements, the whatever, if you put dye in your hair, I don't recommend dye in your hair. You know, uh, if you have to, you have to, if you have white hairs, I understand but try not to if, if you can. And if you do, try to use no ammonia natural products like henna and stuff like that. There are natural dyes out there that you can find. So I said uh, number one, shower right here in your hair, avoid that. Number two, uh, brush your hair, uh, shampoo in the back. And then if you uh, go to bed at night, grab your hair and tie it. I'm gonna show you how. I usually go and do this. I tie my hair right here, you know, and sleep like this sometimes. <laughs> Just because, you know, when pulling, um, I don't pull from here backwards. So I'm pulling the opposite way just to relax this area a little bit. Don't tie, tie too, too tight. And then what else, what else, what else? Uh, yeah, don't wash your hair too much. Don't wash your hair too much. Don't use chemical shampoos if you can avoid it. I wash my hair at least uh, at the maximum once a week. Uh, if I uh, go to the gym and stuff, I wet it, but I don't put any shampoos in it. And um, uh, what else I wanted to say? Yeah, uh, shower at least uh, no, no more than once uh, your hair. Don't shampoo it more than once a week. And also, uh, yeah, I have to show you a little product here. 
I don't sell anything, although I created a link on my website to go to all my product that I picked from Amazon, but I don't have the, like, it's not my product, someone else is selling it on Amazon, and I put a link to it on my website. This is pine tar. This is a bizarre thing to say, but it's a secret ingredient. Okay, so this thing is mainly used for horses, for hoofs, you know, the horse nail. So they brush it over it to harden it and to keep it healthy. Back in Africa, we use pine tar on our hair when we have dandruff or we have fall, falling problems. This is excellent product. Don't put a lot, just one tablespoon is enough in your whole bottle of eight ounces of shampoo. So try to pick a good shampoo. I, I'm gonna try to pick a couple shampoos that I find on Amazon and link them in my website, terrauniversale.com. And I have this link for tar, pine tar. Uh, I buy this, it's like, I think it's like $30, $29. It lasts forever. It's a quart, so it's a lot, you know? Uh, I think it's a liter, a quart is a liter, let me see. Two, 946 milliliters, almost a liter. So 32 fluid ounces, one quart. This is excellent. This is used for horses, believe it or not. Uh, I've never heard anyone talk about pine tar in the United States, but we use it in Africa a lot for our hair if we have hair problems. So this will strengthen your hair. Uh, again, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. You have to seek medical advice if you have a condition. But this has been my experience. If I have dandruff or problem, I put pine tar in my shampoo. I even do it without having any problems just to keep my hair strong. I think I've done a good job. I've, uh, you know, I, my genes are, you know, I could... I could lose hair or I could, it, it's, it's up to me, you know, whatever, however I take care of myself, of my hair, that's where my body's gonna go, you know, it's all in our hands, we can change our genes, you know, epigenetics, so anyways, um, this is important, pine tar, like I said, do not use chemicals in your hair, I have a formula for a homemade shampoo, I'm gonna do a YouTube video about it soon, hopefully, I just have to get the names of the ingredients in English because I don't know them in English and uh, I'll get, get the components and everything. So if you don't want to buy shampoo, you can make it at home. It's a lot healthier. It has eggs in it. Fat, 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 fat is good for your body. Oh, also, if you take baths or if you, your hair is falling, try to take baths and put a lot of Epsom salts, magnesium and dip your hair and relax like that for a while and let your hair go inside the water. It helps a lot as well. So my viewers who were asking me for advice for hair, this is my the best I can do. I might do another video in future, but I will um, uh, more extensively about the hair and uh, show you how to do everything. But for the meantime, I'm gonna prepare another video with the homemade shampoo. Okay, do it yourself, DIY. Uh, shampoo. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please uh, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye